what's up you guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you guys are happy spooky season it is officially spooky season for us spooky and autumnal bitches out there i hope you guys are enjoying your time today is a nice stormy and cloudy day so it's perfect for this video that i'm going to be filming today for today's video i'm going to be sharing all of the cool halloween decor that i've picked up this spooky season I don't know if I plan on buying more Halloween decor, but if I do, I will do a part two in the future. But consider this the official Halloween decor for 2022. With that out of the way, let me explain how I'm going to categorize this video. I'm going to be categorizing it by shop and you'll see the shop somewhere on the screen along with the price of the item somewhere on the screen as well. And if you care about a specific shop more than others, you can find timestamps for that down in the description below. But with that out of the way, let's get into the haul. Okay, so the first shop I'm going to be talking about is Burlington Coat Factory. I didn't see too many Halloween decorations at my local Burlington, but I did find some cute things to add to my lovely bathroom. While I was perusing the home decor section, I found these very cute Halloween collection hand towels. They come wrapped with this little bow. They're this tan-ish cream color and they have little skull on them, little spiders on them, and little pumpkins on them. You get two in the set, and I just think they're really good for year round. They don't say like trick or treat or happy Halloween or anything, which is exactly what I look for when I look for Halloween decor. I look for things that I can keep up all year because, you know, I'm spooky 365. So that's what I got for the first item, these lovely little hand towels. The second item that I picked up is this PVA shower curtain. They also had some like fabric shower curtains if you like those but I prefer the PVA ones just because they're easier to manage. This specific shower curtain is 70 inches by 72 inches and has 12 metal grommets on them. This design has little skulls, little books, and little ravens, which is everything that I absolutely love. I've been an Edgar Allan Poe bitch since I was in middle school, so literally my first thought was Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven when I saw this design. All right, so the next store is going to be Rock. Another one of those stores where I didn't see too much Halloween that really spoke to me, but I did find two cute items while I was there. The first item that I found is this lovely mesh tablecloth. It is completely see-through and it has these really lovely gold moons all across the print. This is a 52 by 70 inch tablecloth, so you could put it on a rectangular shaped table, or you could even put it on a round table if you have one of those. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with a gold theme this year, but I do like having options. Again, this doesn't have anything that says Happy Halloween on it, which is exactly what I want for my home. The next item is actually still in the bag because I don't want to break it. For those of you who have been shopping for Halloween decorations for years, you're probably familiar with Joanna Parker. She does these really cute vintage Halloween inspired decorations and I found one of those items at Ross. I found this adorable little cookie jar. Look at him. It's a little jack-o'-lantern. I love him so much. On the bottom of the jar, there's actually these little like, you know, foam thingies to keep it from like, you know, moving across on your counter. It is a nice quality cookie jar. And even the bottom of the lid has like this silicone to keep a nice tight seal on your cookies. He is so, so adorable. My boyfriend really, really loves him and he says if I break him he'll come after me so yeah this is probably the best thing I found this entire like Halloween season and I hope you guys find him as well so the next store that I went to is Michael's craft store there was a lot to choose from at Michael's craft store they had several different lines of Halloween there they had like a romantic theme a like vintage theme they had like a witchy theme it took a lot of self-restraint to keep me from just buying everything I did find some things that I'm going to like years down the line and I'm gonna show those to you right now so the first item I 
I picked up is this really gorgeous decorative cushion. Um, it was from the Romantic line that they had there. There's two skulls with some really cute little like ribbon roses stitched onto the fabric. There's a nice little red trim on the end and it's completely velvet all the way around on both sides. Feels really nice, feels very plush. And I liked it so much that I actually bought two. My plan is to put them in the background. So you'll see these guys in future videos for sure because there is no way these are leaving my room. They're just too gorgeous. So that was the first item I picked up from Michaels. The next item I picked up from Michaels is this really cute dish. It's literally just a pair of either bird wings. I believe it's like a raven's wing. And it's just shaped into this little heart with a little bit of dry brushing inside of the dish itself to kind of bring out that contrast. I might go in and just add a little bit more dry brushing just so it looks more cool. It's a fairly nice size overall. For perspective, this is my hand. It's about tiny, so it's a little bit bigger than my hand. So you can definitely fit quite a few items in this dish. And I believe it's like a plastic or like a resin, so it's not going to shatter if you drop it. But do be careful because you might dent some of the really gorgeous carving and design inside of the dish itself. So the last item I picked up from Michaels is this really cute little wall decoration. It's a pair of vampire lips that says live forever, love forever. And it's just like a little shadow box sort of deal. It's painted black on the ends and on the very corners, it's like shaved off so you don't end up poking yourself. It's pretty much just like a little paper design right on top, but it does have some texture on it. It's really, really cute. And honestly, I just love the vibe. It gives like, you know, vampire, Victorian romance, I don't know. But I did find this in like the romantic line along with the pillows. Also, before I forget to mention, Michaels is doing 40% off of all of their Halloween decorations as they usually do. So all of the prices that you're seeing on the screen is actually slashed by 40%. So just keep that in mind. All right, so now we're gonna move into Target. And the Target is where I found more of my favorite items in this haul. The first item that I picked up from Target is this really adorable little plush pillow. It's completely polyester all the way around. There was like a pillow tag right here on this seam. When you're ripping it, just be careful. You might accidentally undo the stitching. So if you do undo the stitching, you can just stitch it right back up. That's personally what I did. And you can't really tell that anything happened to this poor little guy. The next set of items I found in the Target $1, $5 section that you see when you walk into the store. The first little thing I picked up there is this little tiny shadow box with these little pumpkins inside. I thought it was really cute. I plan on painting the sides black just to make it look nicer. But yeah, I just want to have this little guy sitting right on top of my computer just to kind of help me get more into the autumn spirit. Next set of items are these really adorable backpack keychains or clips. Look at how cute they are. I was actually looking for one that is basically a frog with a witch hat. That was the whole reason why I was going to Target in the first place. Literally to find a little backpack clip that looked like a little frog with a witch hat. As you can tell, I did not find the frog with the witch hat, but I found these two cute little guys. This first guy is a little spider and he's dressed like a little pumpkin. He's very, very cute. And then this guy is just like a little ghosty and he's holding a little sign that says trick or treat. I couldn't, I could not help myself for the price. They were just too cute. So I picked up these little guys. I also picked up a news set of dishcloths. Um, my current Halloween dishcloths are getting kind of ugly. So I picked up some new ones. This is a set of two. The first one just says happy Halloween. Probably the only item that I picked up in this entire haul that actually says happy Halloween. And you just have these little pumpkins and this guy looks very angry which is why I picked them up. And then the second dishcloth just has all those little pumpkins, both the happy ones and the really angry ones, which I love. So you can find these in the Target $5 spot. And then the last item I picked up from that spot is this cute little ghost oven mitt. It only fits the right hand, so just keep that in mind. He's not super like, you know, padded, 
but honestly it's just really cute and for the purposes that I have in mind it should be just fine for decor so yeah he's just a cute little little ghosty and then the last item I actually found in the actual Target Halloween section which was still kind of empty when I went there these are some nice heavier duty uh, kitchen towels this one has a little skeleton coming out of a grave and then the second towel just has a bunch of like little skulls and one of them happens to be a pirate. Um, these are the more like sturdier kitchen towels. So if you want those, just go straight into the Halloween section to find them. All right, so the next store we're going to discuss is TJ Maxx. Now, TJ Maxx was a fucking dream, like a straight dream. I had to exercise an immense amount of self-control because there was just so much cute Halloween stuff. They had pajamas, they had mugs, they had dishware, soap, anything you can think of. If you're looking for like really cute Halloween mugs, just go to TJ Maxx. The only reason I didn't buy any was because I already have too many mugs but let me show you what I picked up from there. All right, so the first item I picked up is a nice pumpkin spice scented bar soap. It literally just smells like pumpkin spice. It kind of gets me into the nice, you know, autumnal sort of vibe. So I always pick up several of these little autumnal soaps. This is just one of like six that I picked up. So yeah, these are really cute. The only thing that's really autumn themed about them is the packaging. And this one just has a bunch of these little stupid derpy like autumn gnomes that I hate. But yeah, I picked it up anyway. The next item I picked up is a set of oven mitts. As you guys saw earlier, I had the little boo ghosty oven mitts, but these are more practical. These actually have like little ribbing on the inside, which is very nice. And they are half mitts, so they don't take up as much space. And look at that. Perfect for my tiny little hands. But also they fit a man's hand as well. I made my boyfriend try these just to make sure. And they do fit his hand. So perfect little, a nice Halloween-y oven mitts with some cute jack-o'-lanterns. The last item I picked up from TJ Maxx, I'm not sure if it's actually like Halloween themed because I didn't find it in like any of the Halloween sections, but I found this very cute reusable tote bag. It's completely canvas and it has this really gorgeous print of skulls, ravens, and spiders. It's a pretty large shopper tote. So if you're the type of person that likes to go to farmer's markets or like just have your own reusable totes, this is a very, very nice size, nice, strong, handles and a nice durable canvas material. I'm not sure what the brand is. It just says classic reusable shopper tote. And I did find these with all of the other reusable shopper totes. You can find them either at the front of the store or they have like a little setup in towards the back of the store. So that's where you can go look for them. And the nice little detail about this one is that it has these two little pom-poms on the handle, which is very, very cute. So the last store is Marshall's, which I believe is the same thing as TJ Maxx correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but I went there first and that's where I kind of found these specific things and I'm actually surprised that I found them at the Marshalls close to me because usually none of the stores near me really get anything until later on in the season so I was pleasantly surprised so the first item I picked up there is this little set of Halloween lip balm the only reason I picked them up is because they are Halloween themed do I need more lip balm absolutely not do I need the Halloween things absolutely yes so I picked up this little set of lip balm and apparently they are all different autumnal scents so there's pumpkin spice candy apple vanilla sugar and honey almonds and supposedly they are cruelty free and vegan i have not tried lip balm from marshall's but i have tried other makeup and i expect this to be just lip balm the next item that i picked up is this really cute jack-o-lantern soap dispenser you get the three little jack-o-lanterns and they're nice cute and smiley they also come in other colors i want to say i saw white and i also saw orange but i picked the black one because it matches my aesthetic better it actually is full of soap already so you can just keep reusing the dispenser with your own soap which i thought was very nice and this is just a spooky orange hand wash I actually haven't used it, so I will let you know in the description if it actually smells like oranges. 
All right, so the next set of items are clothing items and they're mainly just lounge wear. So the first thing I picked up is this really adorable, I guess you could say sleep short set. You get two sleep shorts, you get a little striped one and you get this one, which is the whole reason why I picked up the set. It is a bunch of little Halloween doggies dressed up in different costumes and it is really, really adorable. There is one that's dressed like a pumpkin, one's dressed like a ghost, another's dressed like a mummy and one's dressed like a cute little bat like how can you not love dogs dressed as different little things this is from the Jacqueline Intimates brand um, it is 95% polyester and 5% spandex so really nice uh, loungewear material so that's the first set of loungewear that I picked up the next set of items are some pajama pants. You can't buy them as a set. You have to buy them individually, but they look very similar. I'm pretty sure they, they probably used the same blank when they were making them. So just keep that in mind. They're from two different companies, so to speak. So the first pair of pajama pants are these really cute, I guess, mystical themed pajama pants. There's Ouija boards, there's crystal balls, there's other occult imagery on them. They're honestly just really soft and fluffy and that's why I picked them up. My pairs of pajama pants are starting to get very worn out, so I'm starting to replace all of them and I figure I might as well pick some that kind of match my whole aesthetic. They have a nice little stretchy waistband and they're very, 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 very soft, especially Especially after you wash them. This particular one is from Cynthia Rowley Sleepwear and I believe it is made out of 95% rayon slash viscose and 5% spandex slash elastine exclusive of the decoration which is this little um, I guess you could say draw drawstring here that doesn't actually like pull anything it's literally just decoration there's not much more i can say besides that they're just super soft and comfy like i can't wait to like just start like being lazy in them here is the second set of pj pants this one's really cute too this one has a bunch of cute little dogs dressed up in costume just like the little sleep shorts except this one has like corgis and other cute small dogs there's one dressed as a vampire another dressed as a ghost one dressed as a witch and I believe a pug dressed as a little devil <laughs> but basically it's the same thing the little drawstring is literally just decoration made out of the same material the only difference is that this is this weird brand that I'm not gonna try to pronounce because it looks weird that is pretty much everything that I got for my Halloween haul hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I purchased maybe you guys saw some things that you're gonna go try and find yourselves if you guys enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up lets me know if you guys want to see more autumnal slash spooky content and if you guys want to see more of my face please subscribe to the channel I'd love to have you here and if you guys want to see some more Halloween slash autumn related content click on this playlist here you'll find a lot of different Halloween content that I've done across the years but with that out of the way thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this all the way to the end take care of yourselves, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!